Welcome back to Wolf Dog Empires. I'm raiding, and lo and behold, we run into an already maxed out 85 plus 20 Hawthorne. Monster Hunter family bonus two, three, four, five heroes plus five, 10, 15, or 20% attack. Passive. This character has a 10% chance to drop the direct damage received from special skills to one. And that's just a passive. Wow. Pretty, so you, that you don't have to set off a special for it. It's just, it's always there for a percentage. I know it's only 10% chance, but when it drops it to one, trust me, if you hit it and you only do one HP damage, you're going to be pretty mad. Average speed. All allies regenerate 672 boosted health over four turns. So it's over time, but it's still boosted health. Boosted health can exceed max HP. So that's really big because if your heroes are still like at 95% um, health, sometimes you don't want to set off your, um, your Vivica or your Director Zuri because you you're not going to give them that much more life. And sometimes you hold on to your hero, to your healer, and then somebody gets sniped in your team, whether it's the he healer or one of your other teammates gets sniped, and now you won't be able to heal them anymore because they're dead. But boosted health, you just throw it on there, and they just boost their health, so then when they get hit, the first health that goes is the boosted health. So... It, it it's big for survivability. I know there's a hero out there that does even more damage against boosted health, but <clears throat> I don't even, at this time, she's not even uh, a big part of uh, the meta yet. And she may never be, actually. She just may, may, may be one of those niche heroes. So all allies receive a moderate amount of mana over four turns. That's pretty good there. Especially for buff booster. Look at all these things. For buff booster, this guy's going to be a beast. All allies reflect status ailments for four turns. All right. You also have El Nadaha at 8520. Kulervo, another top 10 hero, 8520. Khufu's a beast, 8520. Milena, 8520 also. This is a... Awesome stack team. Look at this. 52, 64. I'm just at 46, 51. Let's go in there. See how it goes. Yeah, that's pretty big for him to be reflecting the uh, elemental defensive down like that. Because I, I rely on it, so when you can reflect it like that. Wow, I mean, normally when I shut off, set off all those heroes, they, I, they normally um, I kill them or really close to killing the whole team already. And survivability with this, withstanding the elemental defensive down like that, two of them. So I rely on that big time.
Yeah, this guy's really good. I may do some more pulls to try to get him. Um, and I'm out of world, I mean, of great energy here. He's really good. I mean, yeah, I may do some more pulls uh, soon to see if I can get him. Even though I'm, I'm stacked on purple, though. I mean, purple, I have Holda, 8520. Costume Guardian Panther, 8520. I'm bringing up Blue High. Got the bunny. Dio Chan's great. Cone Shoe's great. He's at 1 1. Lubu's great. He's at 1 1. The Piota's great. He's uh, She's at 1 1. Got a bunch of Arfaniuses here. A second costume kill here. So I'm pretty stacked on purple. But I would definitely start working on him if, well, no, nah, I think I'm okay. I mean, with Holden, Costume Guardian, Panther, I already feel bad that I have to bench one of them. And to bench both of them for Hawthorne? Is it a good problem to have? Benching Holda, benching Costume Guardian, Panther? I already benched Costume Guardian, Panther. I'm using Holda as my tank, but... Maybe I can pull. I mean, it's it's, it's a good portal. Maybe there's other uh, heroes we can pull from there. So I'll probably end up pulling soon. All right. Uh, let us know what you think about Hawthorne there. Uh, is it worth bringing, trying to reach for a, a purple hero that is just going to replace one of your other <coughs> great heroes? Alright, well, let us know what you think. Do you think hold the Custom Guardian Panther or try to reach for Hawthorne? Uh, let us know in the comments. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, give us a like. And uh, hit that notification bell. Share it with, the, your, with your friends, too. And don't forget about that yellow event coming in, the big one, uh, November 10. Sorry, October 10 through the 13th, 2022. So don't forget about that. I have a two-part uh, series there on my YouTube channel. Check it out. It gives you a lot of great info. You want to be prepared for that big yellow event. If, if it catches people by surprise, even those people who normally finish all 10 levels of a big event, you may only be able to finish four or six of this one unless you prepare or unless you have a super deep bench. Those people won't have a problem at all. It'll be super easy for them. All right, till next time, Wolf Dog Empires.